Morning, Richard. Thanks for having a chat with me this morning. So we're recruiting in the data space at the moment. So I thought it would be really useful for us, for us to discuss the importance of these roles and how we're taking a truly agile approach to them. Um, could you just start off by briefly talking to us about the importance of data to Alica Bank? Yeah, sure. So I think data is something, well, A, I'm personally very passionate about, and B, I think is absolutely central to a digital challenger bank. Uh, so I talk at a few conferences and I, I always sort of use a phrase that I think the digital bank it consists of two things in terms of its, its product really. One is people, two is data. And I think traditional banks have for so long committed the sin of caring about one but not the other. Um, so yeah, it's, it's something I've personally invested quite a bit of um, time and uh, my career into. So I, I started out um, doing econometrics. Uh, did some pretty heavy uh, data analytical work in the consultancy. And then more recently, I've done um, some big data and machine learning qualifications in, in my own personal time. So I just think such such a core skill for the future that I want to ensure I'm at least uh, enthusiastic amateur, even if not a, a, a pure play professional. So yeah, something that I think is pretty integral to the, the heart of a digital challenger bank. Brilliant. Can you tell us a little bit about the data function that we're building here then? Yeah, sure. So. I think we're really trying to, uh, I guess, move ourselves on to the next stage here as, as Alica. So we're looking to have um, a data team that's got uh, relevant component parts. So data engineering team that's really looking after the, the, the foundational uh, platform um, and uh, sort of data warehouse capabilities. We've got uh, ETL capabilities and so on. And then we've got an um, analyst team, which, which we'll hopefully in time increasingly um, do some data science work as well that is, is really then, I guess, working on the end uh, use cases, the end applications of the data that really help us get the most possible value out of that data. And I guess this is sort of certainly a model I've seen um, done pretty successfully in uh, places like Revolut, uh, who use data just, well, everywhere uh, to inform decisions on the company, to measure, to measure risk, to measure uh, commercial performance on a sort of hour by hour basis. And so, yeah, I guess this sort of setup of um, you know, data engineering specialists, uh, data analyst specialists, and, and then clearly also people in the, the business, be it in, in product squads or, or finance function or whatever, that can also have uh, some self-serve data capabilities is very much to what kind of the spectrum of, of skills we're looking at. Okay, brilliant. And we're obviously, we're recruiting fairly heavily into the data team at the moment and will probably continue to for the rest of the year. We're currently recruiting for two data analysts so what would you say to candidates that are potentially thinking about applying or, or would like to work for Alica Bank? Yeah, I think first on the roles, they're pretty interesting ones because um, small place Alica, it's not like we're uh, a massive, vast machine yet. And so the ability for these roles to um, sort of really add tons of value is extremely high, uh, given uh, we can develop things at real pace. And I think that's probably true in general of roles at Alica, a fast growth um, scaling company always creates an opportunity for adding lots of value and for progression. And then more widely on sort of Alica itself, I mean, I, I chose to join here last summer uh, as CEO from, from Revolut, where I was the group COO. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think just what massively excited me was the fact that firstly, I think we're solving really the last major unsolved problem in, in the UK banking market, which is around the sort of mid-sized SMEs, um, where I think it's still massively underserved, massively under, underprovided for digitally and lending-wise. And, and secondly, um, we're the only bank that's really born post-COVID uh, so far. So the sort of opportunity to realise that without a sort of pre-COVID uh, inheritance, be that in terms of Known book that's got bad debts and forbearance, or be it in terms of um, previous practices, branches, whatever. Uh, I think we've got a really clean uh, position to to attack uh, that sort of, um, I say, last major opportunity I'll say, in, the, in the UK banking market. So uh, I just got really excited about those two things. So yeah, the chance to come join a rapidly scaling company, add lots of value, progress, uh, and solve some. Some really great problems at the heart of uh, the sort of post-COVID economic recovery uh, feels like a great one to me. Brilliant. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you for your time.
Great.